Good morning, rabbit lovers. Welcome to the Happy Harvest Homestead. I decided to make a quick video about a unique experience I had with one of the kits from Tia's Litter. Hopefully, others can learn from my experience and not be freaked out or worried like I was during this strange happening. As I have already covered in my last video, Tia, my Angora meat rabbit breeder, kindled a few days ago in our rabbit colony. She had her kits in a nest box, pulled lots of fur, and has been nursing them regularly. I've handled each individual kit twice a day since birth, and they have all looked and felt completely normal until a few days ago. I began noticing that one of the babies has started to get some flaky skin. Thankfully, it was just this one kit, and all its siblings were completely fine. It didn't look at all like the flaky skin rabbits get when they have fur mites. I've seen that on kits before plenty of times, and it shows up in little powdery flakes, and not huge chunks like this kit had. So we can rule out the option of fur mites causing the flaky skin. It took a few days for the flaky skin to get this bad. Each day I would see bigger and bigger flakes. This was very disturbing and troubling, especially since I hadn't dealt with anything like this before and had no idea what was causing it. So I decided to start researching about what this weird thing could be. After my research, I made a list of everything that people suggested it could be. The possibilities were urine scald, dry skin, dried pee, dried milk, or dried birthing fluid. Then I went through the list and tried to figure out which option made the most sense. Urine scald didn't seem likely, since Tia had not peed on her babies at all, and the kits had not had much of a chance to pee on each other since they were only a few days old. I came to a similar conclusion about the dried pee option. Even if I had managed somehow to miss Tia peeing on her litter while checking them twice a day, I've dealt with pee-soaked kits before many times, and none of them have ever had this issue. In all my experience, dried pee does not flake off in huge clumps. Dried milk was simply out of the question. I cannot imagine how that much milk could have possibly gotten on a baby bunny, especially without me noticing. Dried birthing fluid also seemed unlikely. It took several days for the flakiness to become apparent, so the fluid would have had to been dry and not flake for several days before starting to flake off. Additionally, I didn't see or feel any difference in this kit. And I think I would have noticed if there was a bunch of dried birthing fluid or part of a birthing sack on it. So that leaves us with what I think is the most likely option, dry skin. It took a few days for the flakiness to appear, which would make sense if it took a few days for the baby's skin to dry out. And true to what some people suggested, I had no reason to worry since the flakiness went away all by itself in less than a week. Now Tia's kit with very dry skin is completely back to normal. I will have to remember that, even though its coloring is super cute and its mothering genetics are excellent, I should not keep this kit as a breeder. I would hate to pass this dry skin gene on and end up with more flaky babies in a few months. Hopefully I never have to deal with this again, but if I do, I know just what to do. Nothing. Thanks for watching!